Okay, so in this video, we're going to download and install Mission Planner to our local desktop computer. And then we're going to uh, connect our drone to Mission Planner via a telemetry connection. Now what Mission Planner basically allows us to do is get a visual interface into what's happening on our drone right on our desktop computer. And it also allows us to configure different parameters and switches in the ArduPilot um, software right from our desktop. So it'll make changes on our desktop and push those changes remotely to the drone. So first thing we're gonna do, let's install Mission Planner. And you can do that at this link right here. And here we are, and we'll just find the download the latest Mission Planner uh, installer from here. And this is for Windows, so we'll click that. And Mission Planner is mainly a Windows uh, bit of software. There have been attempts to port it to different operating systems, but really it's intended for Windows. So like always, just launch the installer and step through the various steps. No special configurations there. So I've already done this, so I'm gonna cancel my installation. Now, let's find Mission Planner and let's boot it up. I'm booting up Mission Planner right now. All right, here we go. All right, now we have our drone all powered up from just the USB port, but that is powering up our telemetry module. And you'll see here a blinking green light. That is blinking because it's powered on, but it hasn't found its partner yet. It hasn't found its pair to communicate with. So as soon as we plug this module into our computer, this solid, uh, or this blinking green light should become a solid green light. And you'll also see a solid green light on this computer side telemetry module. That indicates that we have a good connection and we will be able to communicate between these two modules. So I'm gonna plug this guy into the computer now and you'll see what happens to the module. All right, there we go. The telemetry module on the drone stopped blinking. Now that indicates that we can now communicate between our drone side telemetry module and our computer side telemetry module. So now that we know that our hardware is working, let's try and boot up our software that is Mission Planner and see if we can get our drone to communicate Artie pilot through this module to the computer side telemetry module and into the mission planner user interface. Now in the top right is where we can initiate a connection between our computer and our drone. So here we can select a COM port, which is just the really just re representative of a USB port that you've plugged your computer side telemetry module into. But we can also just run auto and Mission Planner will automatically try and find the port that you've plugged in your telemetry module into. So we'll use auto. And then we'll also use um, this baud rate of 57,600. And then we'll try and hit the connect button and we'll see if we can get our drone to connect to our Mission Planner software. Hit connect and this might take a little bit of time Go. It looks like Mavlink is trying to... All right, and now it looks like we have successfully connected the, our telemetry modules, and they're now communicating. Right now we're loading in parameters from our drone wirelessly to our computer, and we're loading those parameters into Mission Planner now. That's what's happening here. And all right, this is pretty cool. Now, with my GPS module is actually picking up some satellites inside, so it's picking up my actual location in the, in the world. And you can see a bunch of cool stuff here. On the left, you'll see the little console. And this is actually representative of the drone's current orientation. So right now I'm trying to hold the drone flat. Right now I'm tipping the drone up, and you can see that's pretty neat. We can also see some pretty cool information here, like the current altitude of the drone, um, the yaw of the drone, that is where it's pointing. You can see the ground speed. But the first thing we'll have to do is configure the drone and uh, calibrate some of the sensors. So that is what we will do in the next video.